conflict is when two or more nodes sync a change for the same row of data at the same time. From the conflict screen, we can configure detection of conflicts and specify how to resolve the data. Give your conflict a name and choose the link between nodes where the conflict can occur, such as when changes arrive at the server from multiple clients. You can further limit where the conflict may occur by specifying channel, catalog, schema, or table name. Leaving a field blank means no restriction for it. By leaving the target table field empty, we're saying a conflict can occur on any table. A detector decides whether or not there is a conflict. It does this by examining a row of change data with an existing row in the database. You choose which detector works for your scenario. Using a primary key detector will find conflicts when a new row already exists or when a changed row is missing. The old data detector finds conflicts when the existing row is different from the original data where the change took place. The change data detector is similar, but also includes primary key columns in the comparison. If you have a timestamp column on your tables, you can specify that column for comparison. It will find conflicts when the existing timestamp doesn't match the original timestamp where the change took place. The version detector is similar, but expects a numeric column for the version of the row. A resolution is how to choose the data that wins in a conflict. For timestamp and version detectors, you can use newer wins to choose the more recent timestamp or version. Fallback will allow new rows to replace existing data and apply data in the order it is synced. With fallback, you can select the option of Resolve Changes Only to get column level updates instead of row level updates. Ignore will process the data in conflict without updating the database. For ignore, you can select the option of Resolve Row Only to ignore just the row in conflict instead of the entire batch. The manual resolution will put the batch in error and halt the channel until the user selects the winning data. The pingback feature lets you send the winning data back to the nodes that created the conflict. This feature can be used to keep data consistent across all nodes. You can send no data, the winning row of data, or the winning row along with the rest of the data in the batch. Most people will use the single row setting. When a conflict happens with manual resolution, the user will first see an error on the dashboard. Click on the error or go to the Incoming Batches screen. Click on the batch in conflict. The dialog will show you the old and new data and let you specify how to resolve it. Either specify the data to apply or process the row and ignore it.